Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Plays. If you're new here, well, well, we are all here for kids and education. So don't forget to like and subscribe below so you don't miss another post. Today we are discussing a book, Amanda's Fall. And it's actually, I found it a very interesting book. And I'll tell you why. This book is about this girl, Amanda. She's in school. There's a lot of things that she's, you know, hopeful for. Because, hey, why not? Start of the school year. Anyway, so Amanda has her friends. And they're going out. They're playing. They're being kids. You know, kids are kids. And first of all, look at these, like, little cute facial expressions. It's like kids. So very relatable right there. Um, and then all of a sudden, Amanda falls. I mean, she falls. And the school quickly rushes her to the emergency room and they kind of, you know, discuss what happened. So I want to pause here and say two things that I'm impressed with. Number one, it doesn't go into detail on her actual fall. Like she falls down, they rush her to the emergency room, which brings me to the next, which brings me to the first thing I like is that kids who fall or who are experiencing in what's called a TBI, traumatic brain injury, all sorts of things could be happening. Some kids lose consciousness for temporarily. Some kids can't see. Some kids can't hear. You know, it's such a small part of the book, so many, many kids could relate to it. Another thing I like is that, you know, the hospital checked her out. They said she'll be fine. Um, again, it's descriptive. It's enough to say, here's what's happening, but I'm not going to give you enough. So if your kid, let's say, has a major, major issue you could discuss it with them and they could relate because, again, you do need to give some information, but it's not overwhelming in this book. And I find that leads to a great discussion between parents and kids. Um, so those are the two things that I like. So Amanda goes home. She sleeps. Oops. She appears to be fine, which brings me to the next thing. Mom wasn't happy. Mom was like, absolutely not. She has a TBI. But guess what? Other things can happen, in which case you know, the ending. My story is true. So all parents, please hear, do what my dad did, buy helmets and gear. So they're saying, protect your kids and keep an eye out for their future, which is on the page before. Keep an eye out because you never know. See, here she is all nice and happy, but there could be issues that come up in the future. This book addresses it. So I find in conclusion that it addresses the now. Look at Amanda. This is her now. And I'm just going to turn the page one more time. It addresses that there could be learning difficulties. You don't know what could happen. And reality is some kids are fine. Some kids aren't. But you know what? Keep an eye out. So it's a little message to mom and dad. It's a message to kids who suffer. And the ending is tons and tons of resources. So what's my opinion? Oops. Amanda's Fall is definitely one of those books. You know what? Kids run. They jump. Kids have issues. And that's totally okay because kids will be kids and we cannot protect them forever. And the best thing we could do is understand if they do have an issue and there is, you know, the emergency room involved, it's okay. Take them and just be aware because the more aware you are, that's how your kids can get the best help and definitely recommend this book. It is a great, great book. Again, nice information, but not overwhelming. And I think that is the most important thing for parents and kids. Don't be overwhelmed. Live in the moment. Enjoy your kids right after their TBI. Get the resources you need for their future and just see what happens. Go with the flow. And this book is definitely, it's a nice read. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe because you know what? This is just one book of the many I have to come. Happy playing.